24 inches versus 20 inches. Is there that big of a difference? Let's find out. So this is what we're working with today. I'm sure you've seen the Bagara Stoke on the channel before. 20 inch barrel, did take off the suppressor to make it as even of a comparison as possible. This right here is a Weatherby Vanguard. This is actually my old hunting rifle. Killed a lot of animals with this thing. 24 inch barrel and I did take off the muzzle brake here as well. Now, before people come for me in the comments, I know this isn't exactly an apples to apples comparison. They are two different rifles, two different platforms, but they're both 6.5 Creedmoor, shooting the same ammo. They do have the same barrel twist rate. So I'm just curious to see what the difference in speed is. I also have a very cheap chronograph that I'm not sure how accurate it is, but we're gonna see what we get. So let's shoot a group with each one. We'll take an average and then we'll compare. All right, let's start with the Weatherby first. All right, there's one. Let's send another group with the other one. All right, let's go see what we got. Now I know we're not out here shoot for accuracy today, but overall each gun did pretty well. I did a five round group with each one, followed up with a three round group. I know that Weatherby really likes the Hornady match. We're shooting the 140 grain Hornady match. Like I said, I know the Weatherby really likes it. I think it's the first time I've shot the Bagara with it, but each gun did all right. But we're here to look at the speeds, so let's jump into those numbers. The results are in, let's check them out. Like I mentioned before, I did five shot groups. So let's take a look at the first 24 inch barrel. We have an average speed of 2830 feet per second. For the 20 inch barrel gun, we have an average of 2748. Now I've always heard that with a Creedmoor, you're gonna lose anywhere from 25 to 30 feet per second for every inch that you cut off your barrel. According to this, we had a difference of 82 feet per second between the two which would translate to around 20 feet per second loss for every inch, which is pretty close. But moving on to our second groups, we have an average of 2832 for the 24 inch barrel and an average of 2737 for the 20 inch. That gives us a difference of 95 feet per second, which translates to roughly 23 and a half feet per second loss for every inch, a lot closer to that 25. Now I went ahead and averaged all eight shots out for each gun. So we have a grand total, grand average of 2831 for the 24 inch barreled rifle and an average of 2744 for the 20 inch rifle. This comes out to a difference of 87 feet per second between the two or roughly 22 feet per second lost per inch. So pretty close. Now, was this a perfect test? No, my chronograph is a cheap piece of junk. I don't know how accurate it is. I don't know how consistent this Hornady ammo is that I've had for a while sitting on the shelf. But overall, I just wanted to do a really quick, simple test to see how much speed I was losing with that shorter barrel. Now, does it really matter? No, because it's a youth rifle that's probably never gonna shoot beyond 250, 300 yards anyways and it's running a nine inch suppressor. If I could have bought it with a shorter barrel, I would have. But it did have me curious what are some of the differences you'll see between the longer barrels and the shorter ones. So what do you guys think? What is the optimal barrel length for a 6.5 Creedmoor? Let me know down in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys watching this one. We'll catch you in the next.